733 now. They are individuals impacting Northwest Arkansas with their talents and good works. We call them movers and shakers. He's a man who marches to the beat of his own drum, yet he has no musical training. But for 25 years, his songs have galvanized those young and old in our area with one simple phrase. Say amos amigos. Let's be friends. Music for me is a very important element because it's non-threatening. The music for Al Lopez was always inside of it. Born in New York City, Lopez was raised in Puerto Rico, surrounded by the flair and pageantry of Caribbean rhythms. But his love for music almost ended just as it was beginning. My first song that I wrote, I was 12 years old. And I went to my dad, and I remember the song. And he said, absolutely not. I remember, and he just, and I didn't think much about it. It was a huge blow to Lopez, who put music on the back burner. It took almost 20 years to recapture that melody, and it all happened while visiting a friend and his band during a practice session. It was like in a living room, you know, with an eight-piece salsa band, and I sat there, and my mind, I mean, I feel like it went, and that night I went and I wrote about five songs. And many more would soon follow. But it was one song that gave him his moniker of Papa Rap. It was a tune dedicated to his 16-year-old daughter, who at the time felt they were growing apart. It was just about a dad trying to reach out, you know, to understand their children. And I, and I uh, showed her and she hated it, <laughs> but her friends liked it. Lopez moved to Northwest Arkansas in the mid-90s, landing a job at one Northwest Arkansas school district as an interpreter. That's when he saw firsthand the division within the high school. Kids were not getting along. Kids were just, you know, hating on each other because, uh, I mean, it was, I mean, they, where are you from and why are you here? So just as he did for his own family, Papa Rap once again turned to music, writing his first bilingual Song. I say, I'm going to write a song about what's up, que pasa, what's your name, como te llamas, where you from, de donde eres, let's be friends, amos amigos. What's up? The anthem was a huge success, bridging different cultures. More importantly, it reestablished a bond with his father. I was looking for so much acceptance always from him with my music, and that's when my dad and me kind of, he told me, I'm so sorry, son, because what I discovered was my dad, the reason he tore that song when I was 12 is because he had been a musician. My mom brought out songs that he had written, and then I found out that his father was also a composer. So it was kind of one of those things that, that he knew that it was a hard life. Life for Papa Rap has been a far cry from his time in Puerto Rico. But after a quarter century in Northwest Arkansas, his music now has a different harmony. This is my home. Tell the Arkansas story. I mean, wow. It wasn't easy in the beginning, but people reached out and we got to know each other. All right, to date, Al Papa Rap Lopez says he's written upwards of 500 songs, both in Northwest Arkansas and Puerto Rico. He's also used his influence to help with community advocacy. In 2009, he helped start One Community. That's a nonprofit uniting different cultures as one through commonalities. For more info on Papa Rap or any of our movers and shakers, go to our website, fox24news.tv.